hello everyone so it's 2049 and I'm on the A14 going to Cornwall don't really know why I was just sat at home thought well it's nice weather isn't it be nice to surf do something in this weather I've got five days off Tash not with me on this trip unfortunately she is working so I threw some shit in the car thought fuck it let's go going to Cornwall So, we made it down here in one hit, which I didn't think I would because I'm a shit driver, uh, especially at night, just fall asleep all the time, but coffee kept me going, rid it out, so here we are, in the back of the Mondi, no Tash to keep me company tonight, so I'll just be sleeping with my bike, and I normally bring some bits of cardboard for the window to stop the light coming in in the morning and see people and stop people uh seeing in fucking forgot them didn't i so uh yeah my towel towel's gonna have to do <sighs> anyway good night <sighs> oh morning the uh, weather's looking a bit shit, so I was going to go out on the bike today, but we're probably going to sack that off because I don't want to get stacked in slub and mud, especially when I've got to sleep in there. Uh, my towel that I hung up to keep the sun out got absolutely soaked. But yeah, don't know what we're going to do today. Probably find some nice beaches, go for a bit of a hike. But let's get coffee on first. There we go, breakfast at its very best. Some in, some oats, chuck some raisins in there just to perk it up a little bit. And we need to get the coffee on the go, don't we? So I was driving to St Austell and I came across this little gem. So I think I'm gonna try and get the paddleboard out, see if I can get down there. Why not? where we were on the cove right there definitely worst views in the country but let's go further up anyway top of the castle because I am the king of the castle my way back or not be able to paddle back because the wind's too strong so <sighs> gutted but go down the beach put the wetsuit on go for a swim I think
So here we are. We made it for an evening paddleboard and the weather could not be better. Unbelievable. Going that way into the harbour. See what happens. I think this is my turnaround point. Come round three headlands. Don't know how far I've done, probably three miles, I would say. But I thought there might be something around here, a beach or something I could stop on, but nothing. For miles, literally nothing out here which is not the worst thing in the world, but it's a long way back. Oh, there's another paddle board alert and a canoe, if you can see them in the distance. Fuck knows where they're going. But yeah, back we go. Out here, and I'm good. Hands and knees, though. And he's like, Not the worst. What's he doing? You country. So it's half six, just had some fish and chips, fully fueled up, and where are we? Where's my finger? That, just around the other side of that, was where I was yesterday. And I've got some free time now before the sun sets, so I'm going to try and walk to there and um, probably come back in the dark. Let's go. Sweating. Been at the bike park all day. Killed me off. Now I can't get up a hill. <sighs> Nearly there. Nearly there. So these properties own the land on top of this headland which is a bit shit so I can't walk through it so I'm gonna go this way go round them and hopefully the tide does not come in too quick but we'll get there come this far not turning back yet so 
we made it absolutely awesome quality weather the path to get here was slightly sketchy mildly at the very least but well worth it you can even see kind of here where I walk from that's the sea wall so I'm going to take five minutes to enjoy it and then I kind of got a hot foot it back because the sea is coming in really quickly and I don't want it to close off the beach so I won't be able to get back yeah Is a good example of how quick the tide can come in that's the way I walk back and as you can see if I was another half hour or so I wouldn't have been stuck I'd have just had a three mile walk with very wet hiking boots which you don't want so that's good don't be stupid don't get stuck by the tide Love it. Let's get in the sun and walk back. Here's the harbour again, looking a little bit different because it's high tide and the boats are actually in the water. How cool. is that so good made it back to the Mondeo Hotel Del Mondeo with light to spare and I was going to go find somewhere to sleep but this car park's pretty quiet now so I'm just going to get in bed. I'm fucked. Done six hours of continuous runs at the bike park. Got here about six o'clock, half six maybe. And then went for that walk. Didn't sleep very well last night because people kept fucking just turning up randomly. Lights in my car. So tonight I'm going to climb in the back there and absolutely pass out after a baby wipe wash because I stink oh my god